Okay, my wonderful friends, this is Roger Spur. Everybody knows me, knows I do light research. And this is a tribute to Samsung's ability to capture light with their phone. This is done on a cell phone in an older model. This was done in 2016, 2015, right in that area. This is the pulse red laser from a construction laser. Pulse, pulse, pulse of light. This is the actual particle that creates a wave in front because it's a magnetic particle. This is the wave accelerating, which means Einstein was wrong. You can accelerate light. You can slow light down. Light is a particle. Light has mass. Light can be separated from the black from the white. I'm going to show you all this stuff, and we did this all with a Galaxy Samsung phone. Now, let's get in deep. And Gal Galaxy, Samsung, I hope you see this and I hope you contact me because we would love to work with you. Alright, now, these were what we, this is what we used to make the, to take the pictures. And Rod was using the, the selfie portion, I believe. Now, I didn't do the, I, I mean, I have all the same stuff he had and I started doing the same stuff, but how am I going to beat what Rod was doing? Now, they, I know Rod's getting some new gear, and I don't know what he's getting in because I don't do the experiments. Now, I, I I don't know if he's getting another Galaxy or another Samsung. I don't know what he's doing, but he keeps sending me stuff to absolutely blow your mind. Now, I think Samsung should promote him because he's promoting them. Every time I talk about this, they say, "Oh, how could you get these pictures?" I said. Get a Galaxy phone, get a Samsung, and you'll be able to see things you never thought you could see before. And that seems to be the case. All I can say is from the experience that we experienced. I can't say from a technical aspect it's any better, any worse, any anything. All I can say is this was our results. That's all I can say. Now, just to go over one more time, because it's so cool. <laughs> There's light accelerating. There, it, Einstein said you can't accelerate light, and it, it doesn't slow down either in a vacuum. But there is no vacuum in space, so I'm not going to go into that. But this, there's no vacuum here in, in, in the room that this was shot at either. But it's accelerating. How could you accelerate? Well, you can accelerate using a Venturi. When you accelerate through the Venturi, guess what happens? The particles that made up that box of particles I showed you actually separate from the black balls go away and they're just easy they can lay on top of each other they don't care about each other those are gravity black uh, uh, dark matter it's dark matter it doesn't emit it doesn't concuss it doesn't absorb it doesn't do anything other than attract it's gravity and dark matter these are the electron showers they call these the muon neutri muons muon neutrinos now we had these enhanced and um, here's, here's what CERN and everybody's looking for. There's a muon, a black ball, and a white shower. It's exactly what I showed you on concussion. Now, enhanced, here's what they look like. This is what that photo, photon looks like, and that's the black ball, which is the muon. That's the electron shower, neutrino, whatever you want to call it. And it's, it looks like this until it explodes, and then you get the showers. So these, in this condition, it's the electron neutrinos, and once you electron neutrino and a muon, muon doesn't change. Electron neutrino turns into electron showers when it concusses, and that's the leading tip of this. But this is going to wobble and twist and everything because it's just the nature. It's like a top. You can actually see it's going to spin around. And we see them spinning. It's not something we don't see. Uh, what else? Well, here's spinning around. Well, well, that does show you a little bit of a spin. But um, we have other ones that really show the spin very, very well. Uh, and then he's got this here. This was these Higgs fields. Well, here, let me show you a better shot. But this is the, the leading tip. These are all like balls of light. A ball of light, a ball of light, a ball of light. And these are the wells behind the balls. But it's coming as a, a, a mass at us with bumps. Let's go with that. Now, here's what it started like. And again, this is all done with a Samsung phone. So Samsung, you should help Rod out. He's been he's done a fabulous job with your equipment. And we like your equipment. So it could work for everybody. This was done right on this phone. Absolutely it's unbelievable. This is light coming at us. 
You could see it. This one here is crushed and turned blue instead of red. Absolutely phenomenal what we got out of this. I couldn't believe it when I saw it. This was five, six years ago. And uh, I was just absolutely blown away. I mean, this is, this is, it's just, it needs to be deeply looked into because what we're looking at here is a complete change in physics. 100% change in physics. Electron flood theory says there is nothing but electrons, and they are dipoles, and they look exactly like this. One of them right there. That's an electron. Two of them together, back to back, just like little bar magnets, are now lo no longer explosive. Electrons explode. When they hit something, they want to incorporate. They never want to be like that. They never want to be like that. Although they, they do attach, they're going to attach to something. This will attach to water in the air as static electricity. When you go over to a water pipe and you touch something, these portions here, not light, it's not regular light, it's your electricity jumping off of you because they're just like ions. They would call that an ion, an electron, and it attaches to molecules that have a propensity to, you know, a, 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 an inclination to to have a charge, and that charge will attract one or the other. And then, anyway, it, it's it's a little complicated, but that's why we need to get some some help. Rod's not a, none of us have any money. <laughs> We're just doing this for, for basically for the fun of it, to understand what the hell's going on. And I have a lot going on. I have so many things going on. And I, I work with Rod the best I can, and he works with me the best I can. But we need some outside support now. I think it's at the point where I never wanted that. I never, and I don't, still don't want that. Rod's the only guy. I, I don't do this. I, I'm done. I don't need anything from anybody. Rod is the guy that would need to be helped. And the same thing with Tyson doing the work in the mud fossils. These guys don't. They're not anybody that has any special equipment or anything. They have to go out and buy it. We're just going to fall out of the sky for these guys. Nobody's coming up and saying, oh, let me give you a couple hundred million dollars and go out and figure something out. And and that seems to be the way it happens in academia. Yeah, we'll grant money, grant money, this and that. Well, we could just use a little, you know, just a little tweak here and there. Like even just a, Tyson had to go out and buy a drone. It was, it was, and he had to get a good one because he's on the coast and it had high winds and all this kind of stuff. So he had to, you know, it's just... I had to have DNA tests done and cats, you know, I got, I'm not going to go through the whole thing. Everybody's had to, I, well, yeah, I will go through the whole thing. <laughs> we ought to buy microscopes and books and all kinds of equipment, little testing devices and things, and uh, all on our own dime, which is okay. I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying that it would be nice for, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. I don't need anything myself. But it would be nice if somebody would contact me and say, look, look, get me in touch with this one or that one, and let's do something. I want to be in the middle of it, absolutely. There's, I'm just kind of a guy that just wants to be in the middle of everything. <laughs> I like this stuff. I enjoy it. I, it. It turns me on, and that's really what, I guess it's all self-interest. I just want to be turned on. <laughs> but at the same time, I think everybody wants to learn reality. I would hope. That's what I had hoped for. But, you know, to be honest with you, that's not what I found. So I'm just going to leave it at that. I love you all. Thank you. Have a sterling day. Samsung, you're missing a big opportunity. You don't get a hold of my buddy Rodney. All right? I love you all.